What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Savage Land. Welcome to another episode of Pallet Picks. And today on Pallet Picks, we got Jada Toys Fay Long. Picked this figure up on my 40th birthday at a toy hunt in Myrtle Beach. Found this guy at Target. And let's get right into him. Uh, from top, uh, his hair scope looks great. Uh, hair's supposed to be brown, a lot of people say, but I don't give a damn about that. Face is like a mix between a sprite and almost kind of real life. When you look at him, you can, he looks like he comes out of a video game, but almost kind of has a realistic feel to him. As far as his, uh, his crotch area, it's a soft, pliable plastic that makes his legs move great when doing kicks. Has a thigh cut, double jointed knees, has basically what I call a sock cut, which is down at the bottom right above the ankle. It serves as a boot cut, but it's very close to the ankle and it makes him be able to move like how his legs are sitting now. Feet are very flat. Pants are textured. Um, as far as his waist, he has a ball joint, abdominal ball joint, beautiful, beautiful uh, butterfly joint. And you can see uh, as far as his skin tone, he really doesn't have paint yet, kind of has like a shading. And that's the mix between real life in the video game. Now, the shading is almost kind of done like a video game, but it almost has like a, a realistic texture or, or, or anatomy to his body, man. And and, and, the, and it, it, look, it looks great, man. It's several times I look through my camera like, damn, that looks just like Bruce Lee, especially with those uh, Kung Fu hands or Jun Tao hands, you would say. But I will say, this figure right here is phenomenal. It is great. Price is cheap, 25 bucks very durable articulation is great sculpt is great playability is great they did a great job with this um it's basically like a mayfax minus all the bullshit price be honest with you and a mayfax is great you know mayfax is my thing but mayfax is more like caviar filet mignon very soft fine dishes this thing right here is primed steak it's very durable action figure feels really tough when you work in it, it doesn't feel like you're going to break it. It's almost like in Tommy Boy. I can stick my head up a cow's ass to get a good look at a T-bone, but I'd rather take Jada Toy's word for it when they say they have a good figure. And this Fei Long is awesome. It's A1, like the steak sauce. Pun intended, I guess. <laughs> no doubt, man. But I will say this, man. This is my number one figure throughout the year. And look the way he moves his legs. We gotta talk about the anatomy of this figure. Look how he just stretches them out. It doesn't look like a toy doing it. It looks like a real person is, is doing that because there's really no hard cuts in the articulation. The way his foot sits flat on his head, man, it's hard for a lot of action figures to do that, believe it or not, man, just to get that small pivot. But this guy can do it because he has a great ankle rock and it's almost kind of set up like a, a ball joint almost, man. And then far as uh, that, that sock cut, it enables him to kind of twist and move that foot just for little tweaks so you can do subtle movements, just like a real human being would do and it not look so choppy. Especially with this photo right here where I put his foot behind his head, sitting flat behind his head. That That is courtesy of those two joints being so close together. That sock cut and that ankle rocker being so close and working so good. And the thing about Jada Toys is they put all of their articulation in the right place. Now, I got him on a stand here because he can make that move standing if I had him standing still. But... That's almost kind of a flaw of those two joints being so close together. His ankle rocker can get weak. When you're trying to do something really dynamic like how I had his head, I mean, his leg kicked up way high like that. So he kept falling, but he was standing for a little bit, maybe one or two seconds, and he would fall because of the rotating base. But he can make that move, but I will say this, that ankle rocker can get a little flimsy when you get super dynamic uh, like that. But take a look at his leg. This is the other thing, like I was saying. Look at that angler on his leg. Look at that arch, like how it's going straight up. And it looks so natural. That is the beauty of this action figure right there. Just to make those natural movements like that. Now, as far as his arms, uh, and they're double jointed. Uh, wrists, they have hinges that I believe they go uh, back and forth. And that's really all you need because what mostly makes up uh, for the arm and hands uh, with this figure is the butterfly joint. It can go way back, it can go way in, and 
he's a kung fu guy. He's he needs to be able to do that because he doesn't have a lot of hand choices. He has those uh, Jun Tao hands, those kung fu hands, and he has his fist there, and that's it. But uh, like I said, as you see with these simple subtle poses, that butterfly joint makes that simple subtle pose so easy. Jada Toys is basically making it easy to do easy poses instead of all this crazy stuff you have to do with certain figures just to get them to look natural and articulate the right way. Also, Jada Toys, they don't work against each other. The ab crunch works with the legs and everything works together. A lot of figures works against each other where you can't do what you need to do, but that's why this figure moves so well. Those two ball joints up top work well with the uh, the two cuts down at the bottom, and everything comes together in the middle, and that's what I kind of had to understand with this figure. Even to the soft, pliable, kind of, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a diaper because it's not set up like that, but it's soft so he can move his legs around, even down to the point of that. That, that makes this figure work. All these small things that they're paying attention to like this subtle shot right here it makes it easy for you to do that and make it look more natural now it was kind of hard for me to move around with Hulk Hogan he looks kind of stiff in some shots because you can't move his ankle rocker like that but he's considered an ultimate this is a $32 30 not $35 figure now and Jada Toys is $10 cheaper now I'm not here to argue about no price or nothing because this Hulk Hogan looks amazing and I would pay 35 bucks for it but I'm just saying basically what Jada is doing here <laughs> this is rev this is revolutionary right here as far as uh, how, how they how they just came into the game with these great Street Fighter figures now I will say this uh, I want to move into the Jada line because Fei Long is great I don't need to gloat on him anymore he also has one more accessory he has his fire leg which I'll show at the end but let's talk about the Jada Toys line and how they can dominate coming up. Like Jada Toys just showed off uh, DJ, Cammy, Guile. They all look phenomenal. And they all look like they're gonna move the same way. If they can stay in their lane, stay in their pocket, and stay with this same group of people, they could, they, they really could kill the game right now. I think they kind of shocked themselves because they had the Universal line, but they just came out with these Street Fighter figures and didn't really kind of print up enough. Or maybe they're having trouble because they're, they're new into the game. But after this year is over with, they'll be a force to be reckoned with. And especially if DJ can kick like this, it's on and popping. This is a wild uh, a shot right here, but it, look, it doesn't look crazy. Like there's no flatness at the top of the hip because of the ball joint. The softness of the crotch area is able him to get his foot, I mean his leg extended out like that and the great ankle rocker is making that foot flat once again. Now you see right here he has the June towel hands but the, uh, the butterfly joint works well with it to make this all one big swing in motion like when he does that double over kick. I don't know the name of it but that's basically what's going on here. And if DJ is moving like that for Jada Toys and any other figure can move like that, which some guy's gonna be a little bit bigger, Fei Long is a slimmer guy, then they're they're in a they're in a good, good spot, man. I really enjoy this figure from top to bottom. I really have no complaints about it at all. I don't think anything I could, I don't want any more hands. It has enough hands for me. Maybe a set of nunchucks. That's it. But those are those are those are luxury complaints right there. Like, what more could you really ask for for a twenty-five dollar figure? You get a second head scope, which with a lot of figures going for twenty-seven, you don't even get a head scope with it. So they, like I said, they made the moves in all the right places to where they can be minimalistic with the accessories because he only has two sets of hands, two heads that basically look alike. One is just kind of grimacing, the other one has a closed mouth. So how are they doing this? with minimum accessories even to their special effects he has one flame that goes over his foot it's because they have people that care because they're doing the right things and like i said they made all the right moves in the right places now as far as this storm collectible zangi i actually like this guy i actually think i could play him in and with my imagination sometimes zangi or he honda could be monstrous and with the storm collectibles line 
uh, that's what they are. They're very big. But with Storm and Collectible, seven inch. So they're regular guys like Guile would never work out. But he definitely could work out for me, especially with Marvel versus Capcom, E Honda also, because you're dealing with superheroes. But if Jada comes out with the bigger characters, um, then it, it, then then I probably will get it. But I'm also cool with the Zangief and E Honda. I hope they don't come out with him until later on. Let's get some more guys like T Hawk, which T Hawk is actually a bigger character. But I don't, I wouldn't necessarily see him see as big as Zangief for some odd reason, or He Honda. It's the crazy part about it. But I don't mind seeing that DJ. Caught me from left field. Cammy, I've definitely been wanting a guile upgrade since Soda. So, like I said, man, they have the market to get busy. And hell, maybe they can even come in and make a decent six inch Mortal Kombat line. Now we're talking. Now we're getting into some prime, dime, prime real estate. But that's the uh, flame effect right there. It's very soft, pliable. He can articulate his ankle and his foot so good that he can slip that on with ease. It's no problem putting that on. As you can see, it lights up well to where the glare, the flare, the, illumin the illumination of it all look looks awesome, man. Looks awesome. Top to bottom, this is a grade A figure. This is number one on my list. I'm going to already just tell you that. If they come out with some other figures before then, that'll even help bolster uh, the lore of this line. But Fei Long, from coming out the blocks from the beginning, he did a he did a great job. He's a great representation. He was a great character because you got Ryu and Ken beat to death in this line. Even Gal, Vega, Blanca, all these people beat to death, but really no Fei Longs. That's why I said that's why I'm glad they came with DJ. And like I said, I said he he represented very well, very well. But to be the man, you gotta beat the man. And all y'all figures with these ultimate tags on the back of them, nothing's ultimate, more ultimate than this right here. This is dope right here. This is dope right here. Um, I, I don't see anything beaten as far as price-wise, articulation, love, and effort being put into it. Even G.I. Joe. Like, they're, they're doing more with more minimalistic uh, materials and, and, and things of that nature. But with that being said, this is the Savage Land. We do this for the love and beauty of Jada Toys, Super Street Fighter 2. Turbo, Fei Long, baby, from back in the day, 93, hitting the corner store. And with that being said, until the next time, God bless. Damn, that was perfect.